Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's operation. Give Jesus your 100%. 2022 is no retreat, no surrender. We are fighting forward, beloved. Asijiki Aruhumeli Murao. Christ ahead of us, the world behind us. He's teaching us how to live as his disciples, holiness that pleases him, his standard, not our standard. May his name be glorified. We serve a king, beloved, the great I am, powerful God, the one and only risen king. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. The honors lies on us, beloved, as individuals. Are we going to hearken and heed his warnings and embrace his love as he's preparing us for his coming, ushering us to his kingdom. Glory to his precious name. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. Like I said, you will hear from me some days. Some days you won't hear from me. But I have a lot, beloved, to share from our Father. Our time is close, beloved. Let us rejoice. Hallelujah. Let us remember the word of God in the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 24. It says, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with affections and lust. So we have to understand that, beloved, each and every day that those who profess to be believers, those who have chosen Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior, have crucified the flesh, beloved, with affections and the lusts of this world. Because First John chapter 2 verse 15, it tells us that the lusts of this world, the lusts of the eyes, they are not from our Father. Praise the name of the Lord. So we have to remember that each and every day, we need to carry our cross, beloved, and follow him. We have to crucify the flesh. That's what Paul was saying to the church in Galatia. He said, those who profess to be believers, those who says we are Christ followers, must crucify the flesh with affections and lust. Hallelujah. Today I've got something very interesting to share with you, beloved. I just want you to join me to thank our Father, beloved, in this journey, beloved, that he has put us through. He is not done with us. However, I want to share, beloved, from the beginning, the transformation, the transition, the change. Hallelujah. Before I go into it, I want to read the word of God from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. I will read from verse 25 the word of god says husbands love your wives even as christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with washing of water by the word verse 27 this is where i want you to pay attention that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Praise the name of the Lord. Beloved, we have to meditate on this word, that the church has to be holy and without blemish, without spot or wrinkle. And I know, beloved, many believers that is what they don't understand. That is why today I'm doing this video. I want to show you, beloved, that our Father is preparing us for his coming. And when you read the epistles of Paul, beloved, many places he spoke about being blameless. That we must be blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, again, when you read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, he said there that, and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, beloved. That is how we have to be. That is when we are ready to be taken with him. And again, I want to share the word of God in the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 12. The word of God says, many shall be purified and made white and tried. I have shared extensively in one of the videos about this scripture. 
and tried and I know many of us are going through tribulations beloved persecutions it is in the word of God. That's why I say it has been prophesied. And again, I just remember, beloved, I want to um, say to those beloved who are recording videos in Narrowgate channel to um, publish them in their channel. I am grateful because you are sharing the word of our father. You are sharing the gospel. The word of God says all things worketh together for good for those who love the Lord and those who are called according to his purpose. They think they are hurting me. They think they are pulling me down, but they don't know. Each day I see a video, I say glory to Jesus for the word of God is being preached, especially those who screen video the videos because I know there are souls that are listening and they are leading souls to narrow gate channel hallelujah so beloved i keep praying that in this quest of them wanting to bring narrow gate down they will find the lord hallelujah so let them carry on and uh preach this gospel because they've got their viewers and their viewers get to listen to the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to our father, beloved. The gates of hell shall not prevail over this work. Like I keep saying, they are wasting their time. I serve a powerful God, beloved, and I'm here because I am sent by him and I fear nobody. So for those who are taking videos to share to their channel, praise the Lord. Continue to speak to preach the gospel of our father because the word of God says this gospel of the kingdom will be preached. So God bless you. Hallelujah. So I will continue with Daniel 10, 12. It says many shall be purified and made white and tried. So all these trials, beloved, nothing that our father does not show. Beloved, God always revealed before time. I share to those I work with that father has revealed that there'll be more videos coming. So nothing surprises him or even myself. Praise the name of the Lord. It does not move me. Hallelujah. He said, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. So that is why we are not surprised when people are not accepting the gospel of our father. But the wise shall understand. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So that's, that verse says it all, beloved. The wise shall understand this process of purification. And when I share, beloved, uh, the videos from the past, you will understand well what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Uh, Paul said in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, he said, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of the Lord is holy, which temple ye are. So this body, our body is the temple of the Lord. That is why God is teaching us, beloved, how to dress his temple, how to take care of his temple, how to live as his disciples. Hallelujah. And those that are destroying his temple, beloved, the word of God says God will destroy them. So let no man deceive himself. Again, I want to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Paul was saying this to the church in Corinth, his first epistle. He said, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, ye are not your own? So we are not our own. And he carried on. He said, we have been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. We have to glorify God in our bodies, beloved. What we dress, what we eat, what we say, our speech should be seasoned with salt. Everything that we do should be to the glory of our Father. Hallelujah. So, beloved, like I said, today I want to share something with you. It's a throwback, beloved. Just like I have read in the book of 1 Corinthians, beloved, that our body is the temple of the Lord. Holy Spirit dwells in our body. So we know that when the Spirit of God dwells in our temple, 
then the Spirit of God will start to reveal things that does not glorify God in our bodies. Praise the name of the Lord in our life generally, including our body, our soul, and spirit. Because that's what Paul said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, that all body, soul, and spirit should be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus told us that he will give us Holy Spirit to guide us in this truth. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want to give a little bit of background about myself when I came into this journey, beloved. When I started in this journey, beloved, of holiness, when God called me into holiness, I threw away my pants, makeup, you know, all those artificial adornments. I threw them away. And I thought, now I am ready to serve the Lord in holiness. I am done. Then I had my clothes, my long skirts. I had, uh, you know, all those that we deemed to be holiness standard by then. And little did I know, beloved, that that was the beginning of my journey. Hallelujah. That was the beginning. That's why today I compiled the videos, beloved, to show you there are many people who come to Narrowgate Channel, beloved. They protest about many things, about the dressing. Why should we wear uh, um, linen? Why should we know or not wear printed fabrics? Why shouldn't we wear synthetic material? And they tend to forget, beloved, that some of us or all of us, that's where we are coming from. When I started this work, like I said, the only thing that I was not wearing is pants and all those adornments. I was still wearing spectacles. I was still wearing flowers. And then even after our father uh, taught us that, you know, we cannot wear synthetic material, then I wore cotton. I said, okay, cotton is plant-based, but still I was wearing printed cotton. And I kept experiencing difficulties because what I was wearing was not up to the standard of our father. Because beloved, when Holy Spirit dwells in you, it will keep on revealing things that are not up to standard. So I was wearing cotton, but it was printed. Our father was still not happy with it. So it has been a journey, beloved, even up to now is still a journey that our father is taking us through. So I want to say, beloved, to those mockers and scoffers as well, that whatever you are protesting about, I was there. I was dressing the same way like you were dressing. I was wearing those printed cotton of or synthetic material. I was wearing leather. Look at, you will see when I show you the, 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 the videos, I was putting on clothes with zips. I was putting on designer clothes because by then I thought, beloved, it just all has to do with covering your body. I was wearing long dresses, but they were tied to my body. You must check in some of the videos, the bus areas, my flowers were showing. Uh, uh, around my bus areas. You will look at it, beloved. You will see in one of the videos, I was wearing a figure belt. Spectacles. You will see in one of the videos, I was putting on spectacles. So beloved, where am I going with this video? I want to show you, beloved, that Father is preparing us for his coming. This is the purification that he spoke about in the word of God, that we will be purified. We will go through this time. We will be tried. You can see, like I said, I thought that I have arrived in holiness. Look at the way I used to tie my dukes by the side. I used to tie stylish, you know, because I was looking at those who were in the journey before me. I thought it was okay. That's why it took me so long to learn. So I let go of the printed cotton. Then I was wearing, I started buying linen. And the linen that I was buying, it was not pure. I wore cotton, white, plain. For a while, I've been doing many videos with it. Some days I was putting a red, uh, a red uh, scarf. And each day I will experience difficulties, but I won't know what was the problem. People are fighting about black. Look at it. I was wearing black as well. I was putting on black, even doing this work, beloved. That's why I say it's a journey. 
And many people, they make mistake of thinking that God is done with them. Now that I have thrown the, the pants, I have thrown the makeup and all those other things, the, the, the jewelries, they thought they were done. I was sharing to those I work with, I said, you know, jewelries is still part of metals. And many people, they don't think about that. They have taken away their jewelries, it's metals, but they do not see a zip as metal. They do not see those, uh, uh, you know, those metal that we use to clip the shoes. They do not see it as metals, but yet they have thrown all their jewelries, beloved. That's where you can see that it is the deception of the enemy. People, they don't know what they are fighting, beloved, but we are praying each and every day that their eyes will be opened. Praise the name of the Lord. So beloved, that's what I am sharing, that I was wearing all those abominable things and the spirit of our, of our father was revealing each and every time. Most of the time I did not understand, beloved. I had no understanding. What is it? What is the problem? Because I was looking at those who have been in the journey before me. They are sharing the word of God. They are in holiness, dressed like that. But the spirit of God, beloved, is preparing us, is purifying us because the word of God says we have to be purified. We have to be tried. And when we see many fighting, beloved, it's prophecies. We don't have to be discouraged, beloved, because prophecies have to be fulfilled because the word of God says the wicked will do wickedly many will not understand so let us be encouraged beloved because the wise beloved those who are allowing themselves to be led by the spirit of our father beloved those who are allowing to be like little children they will understand this journey and they will understand what our father is doing praise the name of the lord so beloved this video i made it to encourage you that Look at it and see this journey that our father has took us through, beloved, from the beginning. And like I said, by then I thought I was done. I thought I was in holiness. I have shared in one of the videos, I said, when I was told that God is going to use me, I must be holy. I said I was so surprised. I said, but I've already thrown all my stuff. I've already given up the world. Why I was told that I must be holy. And I didn't know, beloved, that that was the beginning. That was the beginning. You know, uh, the word of God, Paul said to the church in Corinth, he said that he's still feeding them milk because they are not ready for the meat. Even there's a scripture in Isaiah as well that speaks about the same thing. Many of the believers, beloved, are still taking milk. That is why they do not understand these messages, beloved. That's why when you tell them that we must wear linen, which is written in the word of God, beloved, they are fighting the word of God. They will come with all sorts of scriptures or their views, but it's their own, beloved. It's because they are not yet ready for the meat, just like Paul was telling the church in Corinth. That's why we are finding contention, beloved, amongst the children of God. We are slandering each other. We are backbiting each other. We are bringing each other down. Each day you see a video, a person is bringing another believer down. Things that are against the word of God, beloved, because it is exactly what was happening in the church of Corinth, beloved. Paul was reprimanding them. So we can see the majority of believers, beloved, they are not ready for the meat. They still want to wear synthetic material. They still want to wear printed cotton. They still want to wear jewelries in the form of zips or, you know, whatever metals in their shoes. They still want to hold on to, to it, yet they are happy to get rid of the ring. But they cannot even see that even that zip, beloved, is an abomination to the Lord. The world is under the deception of the enemy, beloved. All those things that people are fighting, beloved. I was a believer like that, calling myself that I was in holiness. But God was still feeding me milk then. And now he is giving us meat, beloved. And I want you to sit 
back, beloved, and view or watch that transition, beloved. We serve a powerful God, beloved. We serve God who is faithful. Look at how he has taken us, beloved, in this journey from where we are, purifying us, preparing us for his coming. And here I am today, I am sitting, wearing linen, beloved, obeying the word of God. All those abominations, I have thrown them away. As you see, beloved, the video clips, look from the beginning, all the transformation until now where Father has taken us. Glory to his precious name. And to the mockers and scoffers, beloved, I just want to say, sit back and enjoy this presentation. See what our Father has taken us through and make a decision yourself that whether you still want to feed on with milk or you are ready to take the meat. As for us, you can see the transition that we are being prepared for his coming. I have shared the scripture in the book of Ephesians. He is coming for a spotless church without wrinkles. Glory to his precious name. Hallelujah. I love you all, beloved. You will hear from me soon. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Morning or afternoon, beloved. Wherever you are, welcome to this channel. This is a brand new much early in the morning. Um, firstly, the Lord was just pruning me when I'm praying or any form of worship to God. But believe you me, ever since I... Oh, my beloved sister, is Sister Musa here. Here we are again. So excuse me, I'm just now uh, reading... Um, it from the book that I know. Good afternoon, write. my beloved sisters and Sister Musa here. The joy of the Lord is our strength. My children is Sister Musa here. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Uh, the book of Psalm 121 said, I will live quite a while since I've been in the channel. Uh, God is welcome to the Narrowgate channel. Uh, be blessed. Uh, I really miss you guys. I miss uh post to the narrow gate channel praise the name of the lord the joy of the lord is our strength the bible says in the book of it has been quite a few days since i have posted any video nevertheless today outside the shop so in this shop i was i was may the lord bless you all hallelujah uh, this is a continuation of yesterday. Welcome to the Narrow Gate channel. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The, the our strength. The Lord. Your mouth. Take time to pray. Pray and sanctify you. Channel. Hallelujah. This is another wonderful day the Lord has made. Indeed, the road is narrow day that our Father God has made. We will rejoice and we'll be glad in it. Hallelujah. Today, welcome to the Narrow Gate Channel. Hallelujah. In the four, uh, verse 14, he said, Now therefore, fear the Lord and save him in the that I had. So I'm just thinking of any other. Because, like I said, I've purposed it in my heart that I will not share. And I said, oh, unless if there's um, more to it, or when he was talking know. to his son, Solomon, I just say it's from father to son. Hallelujah. You know, David really wanted to build the house of the Lord. Any relationship that is so close enough that you 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 discuss your life, you discuss your issues, you discuss your the word of God says in the book of Proverbs fourteen thirty four, it says righteousness exalted the nation and sin is a rule of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit in going the there anymore. So, but that is just me. But the one of the building of masses, the obsession of building of masses, it goes for both men. Beloved, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. It's Sister Musa here. We are marching forward. I mean, it wasn't a vision. It was a dream. This dream was so powerful when God showed me this. You know, this this is a, a tin fish. 
It's called yes. Hallelujah. It feels good to be back after three weeks, beloved. I miss you guys. Hallelujah. May the name of our living Father be glorified. Yes. Just remember that I will say, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, don't rush to subscribe. Just first go to the video. Uh, the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who loves us so much, beloved. He loves us. He gave his life into the kingdom of our Heavenly Father. Beloved, he's guiding us. He's leading us in his own ways. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now and then, our Father, do give us. You are beautiful. Your faith. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. It's Sister Musa here. I welcome you all who just joined Narrowgate Channel. We are marching forward in Jesus. Name. I say today I'm going to be sharing about food. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And like I said, now our eyes are open, beloved. To so many things, so many things. Glory be unto God. That garment must be washed in water. The beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in need. The joy of the Lord is our strength, this sister Musa here. Amen. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in need. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narugate.